today we are going to discuss about electrochemical series what do you mean by an electrochemical series the arrangement of various electrodes in decreasing order of their standard electrode potential is called an electrochemical series you can see the electrochemical series on the board now in the series the reduction reactions are written of an electrode and we have the values the electrode potential values corresponding to each reaction or each electrode and these values are the standard electrode reduction potential values because we know according to iupse it's the standard reduction potential values which is considered so in the series the elements are arranged in decreasing order of their standard reduction potential value or you can see in the middle of the series we have hydrogen electrode whose e not value is 0 volt above hydrogen we have electrodes with positive e not value and below hydrogen we have electrode with negative e not value so the information that you get from an electrochemical series is we get the value of standard reduction potential of an electrode when I say standard reduction potential, at, it, the values are under standard conditions that is temperature 298 Kelvin, pressure 1 atm and concentration 1 molar. And in the electrochemical series, we get the values of standard reduction potential of an electrode. Now let us discuss the series in detail. Here I have written a series but I have not written the complete uh, reduction reaction instead I have written only the electrodes that is uh, you can see in the middle of the series this is our electrochemical series middle we have hydrogen middle we have hydrogen whose E naught value is 0 volt and above hydrogen we have the electrodes whose E naught value is positive when I say positive E naught value it means that these electrodes have high reduction potential value because the uh, values are reduction potential value. So E naught positive means high reduction potential value which means these elements can be easily reduced. Now when an element can be easily reduced it acts as good oxidizing agent. Now if that element is a good oxidizing agent it will be a weak reducing agent and it will be a weak reducing agent than H plus slash H2 redox couple. Now what do you mean by redox couple? Redox couple means the together we find the oxidized and reduced form of a substance for example see this this is a hydrogen redox couple that is we can see the oxidized form as well as the reduced form of hydrogen so a redox couple is a term which uh, when you see that we can see the oxidized as well as reduced form of a substance now another example i can give for a redox couple zinc redox couple zinc redox couple can be written as Zn2 plus slash Zn. This shows both oxidized as well as reduced form of zinc. So these are the uh, things, informations that we get when you look at the electrode potential value from an electrochemical series. What are the informations? The first information is the elements coming before hydrogen have positive E0 value. So E0 value positive means high reduction potential means they are easily reduced, means they are good oxidizing agents or you can call them a weak reducing agents and they are weak reducing agents than hydrogen redox couple. Now next let us see the elements coming after hydrogen in the electrochemical series. Now these are the elements coming after hydrogen in the electrochemical series that is nickel, chromium ion, zinc ion, magnesium, sodium, lithium ion etc. And they have negative E0 value. Now E0 value negative means they have high oxidation potential or we can say E0 value negative means low reduction potential. If their reduction potential is low then their oxidation potential will be high. 
So high oxidation potential means they have a great tendency to get oxidized. Now if an element can get easily oxidized, it acts as a good reducing agent. If it is a good reducing agent, it will be a good reducing agent itself than hydrogen couple, hydrogen redox couple. Okay, so if you see negative E0 value, they have low reduction potential or high oxidation potential means they can be easily oxidized, means they are good reducing agents and they are very good reducing agents than hydrogen redox couple. Now, if you look at the series, you can see the elements with positive E0 values, usually halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, silver ion, copper, iron, all these come, have positive E0 value, halogens mainly. And the negative E0 value is mainly for metals, especially aluminum, magnesium, sodium, lithium, they all are group 1, 2, 3, 13 elements. So, these uh, metal ions, they have negative E0 value. Okay, so from E0 value, we can predict whether element is a good oxidizing agent or a good reducing agent. How will you identify? If the E0 value is negative, the element is a very good reducing agent. If the E0 value is positive, the element is a very good oxidizing agent. Okay, now next we are going to discuss some applications of electrochemical series means by getting the E0 values, the standard electrode potential values of an electrode, we can apply this to many areas in chemistry. So let us discuss the application of electrochemical series. The first application of electrochemical series is application of electrochemical series. The first application of electrochemical series, first let us see who is the strongest oxidizing and strongest reducing agent in electrochemical series. Now we know that in the electrochemical series, fluorine, fluorine comes first with a positive E0 value and the E0 value for fluorine is plus 2.87 volt. So I am going to write the reduction equation of fluorine that is F2 plus it will gain 2 electrons and it gets reduced to 2 F minus and you know that fluorine is a gas and F minus is in aqueous state. Now the E0 value for this reaction is plus 2.87 volt. So we know that the E0 value for this reduction reaction is positive. So what do you understand? Positive E0 value means that high reduction potential means fluorine can be, fluorine gas can be easily reduced to fluoride ion. So fluorine gas can be easily reduced means it is a very good oxidizing agent that is fluorine gas is a very good oxidizing agent. Now if we write the reverse of this reaction, the reverse will be 2F minus will give F2 gas plus 2 electron. Now this reverse reaction is the oxidation reaction of fluoride ion and the E0 value will be minus 2.87 volt because we already discussed the oxidation potential and reduction potential are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. So when you write the reverse reaction, the E0 value is negative. Negative E0 value shows what? Negative E0 value means that F minus has the lowest oxidation potential means it is weakly oxidized. So F minus is the weakest reducing agent. So if you take the electrochemical series, fluorine gas is the strongest oxidizing agent and fluoride ion F minus is the weakest reducing agent. Now let us see who is the strongest reducing agent and 
weakest oxidizing agent in the electrochemical series. Now you can see in the electrochemical series the last electrode written is lithium, lithium electrode. So I am going to write the reaction, uh, reduction reaction of lithium ion. The reduction reaction of lithium ion is Li plus plus electron giving Li which is a solid and lithium ion is aqueous and the E naught value for this reaction is minus 3.05 volt. So this electrode is the electrode with maximum negative electrode potential value in the electrochemical series. So if E naught value is negative it means that that electrode has less reduction potential less reduction potential means lithium ion is the weakest oxidizing agent in the electrochemical series. Now if I write the reverse reaction it will be lithium will get oxidized to lithium ion by losing electron E naught value will be plus 3.05 volt. Now this is the oxidation half reaction. So when you write the oxidation potential, there will be same in magnitude but opposite in size. Now if you see plus 3.05 volt, it means that they have high oxidation potential which means lithium can easily get oxidized to lithium ion. If they can easily get oxidized means they are very good reducing agent. So we can say in the electrochemical series lithium is the strongest reducing agent and lithium ion is the weakest oxidizing agent. So I will discuss which is the strongest and weakest uh, in the electrochemical series oxidizing agents and reducing agents. Fluorine gas is the strongest oxidizing agent. Lithium metal is the strongest reducing agent. Fluoride ion is the weakest reducing agent and lithium ion is the weakest oxidizing agent. So this is the first information that we get from an electrochemical series. Now let us see the second application of an electrochemical series. A metal with more negative E0 value can displace other metals from their salt solutions. That is the second application. Suppose you are given two electrodes whose E0 value is given to you. For example, suppose E0 value of Zn2 plus Zn is equal to minus 0.76 volt and E0 value of Cu2 plus Cu is equal to plus 0.34 volt. Now by looking at the E0 value you can predict which metal can displace which metal ion from its salt solution. The condition is this more negative the E0 value more easily a metal can displace a metal ion from its salt solution. So you can see in the given example zinc has more negative E0 value. So zinc metal can displace copper ion from its salt solution. Suppose you put a zinc rod in copper sulphate solution. What happens? Zinc metal will displace Cu2 plus ions from copper sulphate solution because E0 value of zinc electrode is more negative. So that is the second application. If the E0 value is given you can uh, predict who can displace or which metal can displace which metal ion. The one with more negative E0 value will displace the other metal ion from its salt solution. Now next application of electrochemical series. Third application. Greater the oxidation potential when I say greater the oxidation potential, lower will be its reduction potential. So what will be the E0 value? It will be negative. So greater the oxidation potential and we know E0 value negative is our metals, 
our first group, second group, 13th group, aluminium, sodium, lithium, these are the metals, these are the electrodes whose E0 e value is negative. So greater the oxidation potential or lower the reduction potential, greater is their reactivity as they have more tendency to lose electrons. We know that group 1, group 2, group 13 elements, they have greater tendency to lose electron and get oxidized. So but if you know the E0 value and if you are asked to arrange the elements in decreasing order of their reactivity you can arrange. For example, if you have elements like magnesium, aluminium, then iron, copper, silver, I will, I can write magnesium, if their E0 values are given, magnesium reactivity will be greater than zinc, greater than iron, greater than copper, greater than silver. Now, the E0 values are given and you are arranging it in decreasing order of their reactivity. Magnesium is highly reactive because it has the maximum negative value among the electrodes, E0 values given. After that comes zinc, zinc we know the E0 value is minus 0 0.76 volt. After that comes iron, then copper you know it is a positive E0 value plus 0 0.34 volt. Next comes silver, silver E0 value is 0 0.80 volt. So, uh, if you know the E0 values, you can arrange the elements in increasing or decreasing order of their reactivity. The elements with more negative E0 values are highly reactive and they get oxidized easily by losing electrons. That is the third application. Now, the fourth application of electrochemical series is to identify anode and cathode in a cell identification of anode and cathode in this cell. Now, suppose uh, this we need when we do problem questions, suppose you do not know uh, in an electrochemical cell who will act as anode, who will act as cathode. In that case, E0 values will be given in the question of both the electrodes and we will decide by looking at the E0 value, the one with more positive E0 value acts as cathode and the other will act as anode. So the condition is if you know the E0 value, the electrode with more positive E0 value acts as cathode and the other forms the anode. So that is used to identify anode and cathode in a cell. Now the fifth application is to find out whether a cell reaction is spontaneous or feasible. For this, we calculate the EMF of the cell. We know how to calculate the EMF of the cell. E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode. Now, uh, if you know the uh, cell, uh, this is under standard conditions, E0 cathode minus E0 anode. If you know the cathode and anode from E0 value, you can substitute the uh, electrode potential of cathode minus electrode potential of anode, you get the EMF of the cell. And if the EMF of the cell happens to be positive, then we say the reaction is spontaneous or feasible. And if it is negative, we say the reaction is non-spontaneous or it will not take place. Okay, so uh, this is the condition to find out whether a reaction is spontaneous or cell reaction is spontaneous or feasible. If the EMF of the cell comes out to be positive, the cell reaction is spontaneous or feasible, it takes place. Now the next application of electrochemical series is metals with negative E0 values, we know that negative E0 values. They are negative E0 value means they have less reduction potential, means they have high oxidation potential, they are easily oxidized, so they are good reducing agents. So metals with negative E0 values, for example our zinc, sodium, lithium, these electrodes have negative E0 value. Metals with negative E0 values are strong reducing agents than hydrogen. So they can reduce H plus to hydrogen gas. So we can say these metals can liberate hydrogen gas from their acids or when they are dissolved in acids. For example, zinc when dissolved in hydrochloric acid, it can liberate hydrogen gas. 
Why? I am going to write the equation. Zinc, when dissolved in hydrochloric acid, you get zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. Why zinc can uh, liberate hydrogen gas from hydrochloric acid? Because the E naught of zinc is equal to Zn2 plus Zn is equal to minus 0.76 volt. So, minus 0.76 volt shows that zinc is a very good reducing agent than hydrogen. So, it can reduce H plus of HCl to hydrogen gas. So, metals with more negative E naught value can uh, liberate hydrogen gas from dilute acids. Now, there is another example given in the question, copper. Copper does not dissolve in hydrochloric acid, but copper dissolves in nitric acid, that is copper. When it is added to hydrochloric acid, you are getting copper chloride plus hydrogen gas, when you balance 2 HCl. Now, the question is, actually this reaction will not take place copper will not react with hydrochloric acid. Now, how will you explain the answer based on E0 value? We know that E0 value of copper is plus 0 0.34 volt. So, you know that since the value is positive, E0 value is positive means they are strong oxidizing agent, means they are weak reducing agents. They are weaker reducing agents than hydrogen which means this copper cannot reduce H plus of HCl to hydrogen gas because its E0 value is positive. Also you can say H plus is a weak oxidizing agent. So this H plus cannot oxidize copper to Cu2 plus. So what happens even if this reaction proceeds and if hydrogen gas is liberated suppose this hydrogen gas is a strong reducing agent so what will this hydrogen gas do it will immediately reduce cu2 plus to copper metal which means we are not getting this reaction the product okay so we say copper does not dissolve in hydrochloric acid but it dissolves in nitric acid because in nitric acid, it is not the H plus ion that helps to oxidize copper, it is nitrate ion. In this reaction, it is H plus ion that helps in the oxidation of copper to Cu2 plus, but since H plus is a weak oxidizing agent, this reaction cannot take place. But in HNO3, it is not the H plus ion, it is not the H plus ion that oxidizes copper it is the NO3 minus ion that oxidize copper to copper nitrate. So, this is a very important question copper dissolves in uh, nitric acid but not in HCl. Okay. Now, with this we complete the applications of electrochemical series. Now, let us see few uh, areas where uh, the electrochemical cells are applied. The areas are, they are used for determining the pH of solutions, then solubility product, then to find the equilibrium constant and other thermodynamic properties and for potentiometry titration. So, these are few applications of electrochemical cells. So, with this we complete the electrochemical series. Thank you.